Dude, Luke, the printer's still ah. busted, man. What the fuck? Frothy, usually slimy amalgam of lubricant, stray fecal matter, and ejaculate that leaks out of the receiving partner's anus. <laughs> Just How's it going, on. everybody? Welcome to episode 112 of the Tapas Robot Podcast. My name is Ryan. I'm Tyler. Brooks. Dan. Kaylin, it is your turn now. Now that Tyler has had his way. Oh, no, we can't hear you. <laughs> wait, 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 Kaylin. Kaylin, talk and I'll narrate for you. <laughs> oh, my name is Kaylin. Everything is great. <laughs> it's been a hell of a fucking week. Um, Kalen will do his interpretive dance of uh, reactions to uh, what we uh, talk about. Um, <clears throat> so. Uh, uh, Joe Biden has uh, is is going to be our new president, um, and we have uh, a historic um, uh, vice president, uh, first uh, vice president of color, first female female vice president, uh, both of which are are huge huge things. Well, you first lit up. First Asian in the White House. Hello. Hey. I'm up. Welcome back. Hey. <laughs> Woo. Uh, Hooray. I uh we're right, gonna mute you. We always say oh, um shit. that we try not to get uh too political on, on the podcast, but then of course we inevitably get political because it's hard not to these days. Um and uh we uh uh refuse to be uh capital G gamers. So um <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh I, gamer team. I am uh, as excited for a Biden presidency as I uh, could, you know, possibly be. And Sleepy Joe. Um, yeah, I, I'm just happy uh, that uh, we are where we are. I hope that uh, the runoff elections in uh, Georgia uh, lead to uh, Senate control as well, because <clears throat> otherwise it's going to be a whole lot of four years of fucking nothing. But we won't have to wake up and, you know, maybe the, the Pavlovian response that we've all uh, grown over this in the last four years will start to go away that whenever we get the breaking news, that sinking feeling in your chest and your stomach, whenever you see that breaking news notification. Yeah. Uh, what did the Cheeto do today? Maybe that will start to lessen, even if we can't get anything done policy wise. Yeah. <laughs> At least we don't have the living fear of our <laughs> fucking commander in chief. Yeah. Um, I think what's, what's most exciting in, in my opinion anyways, is the fact that uh, we had more people vote this time than ever. And I hope that means that a bunch of, uh, a bunch of people like the younger people, younger than us are going to keep voting, you know, throughout their adult lives. Um, the, that is both, exciting and troubling because of how close this race was. And uh, that tells me that there are a lot more people in this country uh, who are, uh, in my opinion, complete fucking psychopaths uh, than I initially expected. <clears throat> I like to think the best of uh, people in general. Um, and uh, But to see that turn out and see how close it was uh, I, I just can't because I can't think the best of someone who voted for Trump. The orange Kool-Aid is strong. Yeah. True. But you know, if it, if it was easy, if it was easy, then, then, uh, we wouldn't be doing it. <laughs> and you also have to keep in mind too. Uh, I feel like there's so, I mean, I agree. I don't like if you believe if you voted for Trump, I just don't hold you in the highest esteem at all but there are so many Fuck people you, that you mean yes um there are so many people that are just single issue voters and they can put on those blinders and what they see is as the, like when they're voting for the president of the united states is not the tweet storms or 
the blatant racism and se- uh, and sexism and shoving our fucking uh, position in the world down the toilet. What they see is that guy's going to make it so we won't kill babies. And like, that's where it starts and that's where it ends with them. And mm. as much as I think that narrow minded look at the world is ridiculous and short sighted and stupid. I mean, I, I don't necessarily think it makes every single person who voted for Trump a bad person. It just makes them <laughs> uneducated <laughs> and easily for information. So that's my take on that. Yep. But uh, also uh, a uh, footnote on that. Um, uh, fetuses are not babies. Babies are born. Yep. Babies are babies. And then they're put babies, in babies. Yes. <laughs> Um, so, uh, once they come out, it doesn't matter anymore. It, 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 no free rides for you once you're out, but when you're inside, you've got rights. <laughs> a lot to be super hopeful for. Uh, it's definitely a big mess to clean up, but it's also not the first time that, uh, Biden has, uh, been on his way to the White House with a big mess to clean up. So, he has fucking real experience. Um, but, I did like all the sore losers downtown the other day, though. <laughs> With <laughs> Alex Jones. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, wait, is he being paid to be here right now? Or <laughs> They're making the cactus oh, gay. <laughs> <laughs> of course he was paid to be there. The whole Alex Jones thing is a persona. It's literally been admitted, and for some reason, people still like it. Well, so that's... <laughs> That's the problem is uh, these uh, far right conservatives, in order to uh, not be held accountable for their actions when they have been taken to court over the dangerous rhetoric they spew on their programs, uh, they fall back on the it's an act uh, thing. The same thing happened uh, about Tucker Carlson. Tucker. Yeah. And Alan Jones specifically before he was doing like the Infowars thing wasn't like that. He just did like weird conspiracy theory stuff that wasn't like full on political crazy. It was just like stupid. Mm-hmm. Regular. Uh, he, he later down the line adopted that ridiculous Alex Jones, like Infowars. Never watch out. He I, will eat your ass. I don't, <laughs> I, I don't believe he actually believes most of what he's saying. I think if the paycheck stopped coming, he would shut up. I mean, it, he's. In uh, in their legal documents that say he does not believe in what he is saying. <laughs> yeah, and uh, there How are also legal him. documents that say that the uh, uh, no one would watch Tucker Carlson and think it's real news. Yeah, hmm. did you hear that, Grandpa? <laughs> Get Alex Jones to break kayfabe. We'll catch him at like a Starbucks eating vegan stuff. Fox News is <laughs> WWE for boomers. Oh no! <laughs> it is. It is. One hundred percent. Alex Jones is wearing like a scarf and like a trilby and like sipping. He's a got pump. reading glasses. He's got reading glasses on. Oh. And he's just like, oh, <laughs> just coming to this realization now. Oh my reading god! Spring and just like, oh, man, that's a good point here. So many boomers. <laughs> it's real to me. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Boomers are those kids that you meet in like elementary school that come home and they're just like, do you remember? Did you see when the Undertaker got his eye pulled out on live TV? It was so real. It was so real. And you have to be like, look, you, you, it's not, it's fake. <laughs> that explains why they're so upset over the war over Christmas. Cause they still think Santa Claus is alive. <laughs> <laughs> Year 52 of the war on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's and, so is that Starbucks have liberalized his troops. Is that why they're afraid of uh, liberals taking their guns away? Because they think that they're just going to sit out on Christmas Eve with, a, with their AR-15s and just aiming at the sky. Like, make my fucking day, fat man. <laughs> um, I, yeah. Oh. Well, you know, I am, I am tired of people wishing me a happy Honda days when everyone knows that I celebrate Toyota Thon. <laughs> Jeez. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is a Honda days household. 
<laughs> you can get the fuck out. How dare you? So. How dare How about you? video games, though, right? Video games. Oh, yeah. Um, we, what are uh, video games? I actually game? started playing the uh, uh, Hyrule Warriors uh, Calamity. It's a blast. Uh, Age of Calamity. Um, it's yeah, it is very good. They did a great job in uh, bringing in elements of uh, um, Breath of the Wild into Hyrule Warriors, uh, and it works. So you would recommend real well. it for someone who doesn't like Dynasty Warriors. If you don't like Dynasty Warriors, maybe. Did you ever play the first Hyrule Warriors? Nope. Uh, there's a demo of Hyrule Warriors: Age of Calamity. So yeah, try well, I was it. gonna check it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that, that makes sense. That's a short conversation. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely plays like a, a Warriors game, but I feel like the the High Rule Warriors they do a lot of fan service for Zelda. Like there's and there's a lot of stuff in there that's just really you're it's fun it's a lot of fun zelda <laughs> yeah and I, I mean i uh love playing as impa i love impa's attacks uh she places uh like sigils and then like makes duplicates of herself and so you've got a wall of impas all attacking and her specials fucking rad like all of that is seriously seriously cool and uh the way that they uh incorporated the uh sheikah slate abilities so like uh magnesis and uh stuff like that you can grab a magnetic cube and spin it around and knock out you know hundreds of uh you know uh Albuquerque. yeah um it, it's i have enjoyed it and i'm not a dynasty warriors fan nice. i like the when you when you're fighting moblins and they and you can like do the ice cube thing when they're cr- charging yep. at you and it, it's it's fucking great it's a lot of fun you kids and your dang nintendo <laughs> Look, I have, a, I have an uncle that works in Nintendo. And <laughs> um, and of course, uh, we are now two days away from the Xbox Series X and four days away from PlayStation 5. Um, and uh, the news coverage is continuing on uh, with them. I, I don't feel like I there's anything that I don't know about these systems at this point, like the people are really, really reaching for uh, more and more coverage. Uh, the embargo on the systems proper dropped earlier this week. So we saw everyone start dropping their actual like full reviews and shit like that. And it's still all stuff that we've seen a million times. Let's just get <laughs> systems in hands at this point and see how it goes. Hmm. They look fine. Are, are you gonna are you, are you gonna throw some videos up uh, for it this week? Probably, yeah. Play well, maybe maybe morality. this week. Uh, when I'm not busy playing, yeah. You, you should do a hot like 30 minute review on like changing various options and settings exclusively. <laughs> and there are people who are gonna watch it. Connect. Yeah, discuss the wife. super mundane shit. Be funny. Yeah. <laughs> So this settings menu, cross media bar, <laughs> like compare the noise when you scroll down a menu, like the boop, 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 compare it to like the last, you know, <laughs> last year's Xbox and like well, the it, it's, previous generation. It's not going to be different because from what I've seen, the, the recent update that we got on the dashboard on the Xbox one is the new dashboard. Like that's what it's right. going to look like on the series X, which is weird to me. There's not going to be any uh, discernible difference in interface uh, from one generation to the next for Xbox. No, we should do. We should come up. I with think that's random, lame. random shit to grade both consoles on. Like, uh, you know, the PlayStation may have a better, uh, better OS, but damn the X, the Xbox series X, uh, it, it, it tastes better. <laughs> I was going to say, can I come do a taste test? <laughs> yeah, no, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, I would pair this with an Imperial stout. <laughs> the, uh, Xbox series X definitely has the horsepower and, uh, it has a game pass ultimate, but you know, damned if I can't fit more grilled cheeses in a PS five. <laughs> Well, I, I feel like with uh, with the Xbox Series X, I mean, it looks like 
it could be like a loaf of bread, like Wonder Bread, you know? Yeah. So I, I bet you could a lot of gro- We have to do it now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys Man, see the Xbox fridge they gave to Snoop Dogg? Uh, they gave one to iJustine as well. Yeah. <laughs> they actually made the Xbox Series X fridge that the meme was. They actually made oh, yeah. the fridge. It yeah, has oh a God. green light on the inside. Um, it's it's a thing. I watched iJustine unbox it. It actually comes in, and anyone can buy it now. Uh, it actually yes. comes in a replica of the Xbox Series X box, which was <laughs> as <laughs> large as iJustine's garage. How much gamer fuel TM does it hold? <laughs> does it have the little dimples on top too? <laughs> I don't remember seeing the top, but like pretty much everything is, it's fully, yeah, like it looks like an Xbox Series X, but it's a refrigerator. That's- Fucking hilarious. Yeah. Uh, kudos to Microsoft for embracing the meme. You know, uh, you'll always get a win if you embrace Hell the meme. That's what you got to do. Yeah. Yeah. Just go go with it. I think they put like the Xbox Series X inside the inside the Xbox Series X fridge. At least that's what this picture looks like. And it's making me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Sony, Sony needs to retaliate and make a like panini panini press with, uh, <laughs> no no it's gotta be it's gotta be a george foreman grill uh, <laughs> that's ps3 sony sony is not particularly great at embracing the meme they, they can uh because they're a japanese company dude yep very serious yes because games are serious business okay <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> just bringing up the Japanese being very serious, I was talking to one of my friends uh, and we were just joking about parasols of all things. And uh, there is a campaign. Um, in, yeah, but uh, parasols are just for shade. They're not waterproof. Um, and they're commonly used in Japan to, you know, avoid direct sunlight. But there's a campaign because men are refusing to use them. They're trying to like make parasols masculine for men because uh, Japanese men are getting like heat strokes because they refuse to use parasols. <laughs> wow. Fuck, man. I'll go like a I'd rather get a line. heat stroke. What is, what is this campaign? Are they just uh, uh, giving free parasols to uh, sumo wrestlers? <laughs> I wonder exactly what else they're doing. Let me see. I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> they, they already have a they already have a guy to hold those, Ryan. Come on. <laughs> if, that, if it was here, I'd be like, look, we made this parasol out of footballs. <laughs> no, fucking, I'll go over there. I don't give a fuck. I'll, hard as, you know, looking hard as shit with my fucking Doraemon or like Hello Kitty parasol. <laughs> this parasol is made of pure leather. It doesn't help that. Well, and I don't know how much this is <laughs> reflected in Japanese <laughs> culture. <laughs> But at least in America, appropriate American appropriation of Lolita culture, uh, like that's what parasols are are frequently synonymous with uh, is is the American appropriation of Japanese Lolita culture. So I don't know if parasols are also most widely known for their uh, association with Japanese Lolita culture, but that might have something to do with men going, you know, get away. It's because the look. It's uh, the thing that the. St- thing is like a dong <laughs> it's phallic yeah it but is. you would want to carry that as a symbol of your virility right it's true you see that that's how we change the culture. give me give me <laughs> give me a parasol like a handle that i can't wrap that i can't wrap a single hand around give me give me a uh, uh a parasol handle that i need both hands for <laughs> no no it's yeah, like, maybe like some sort of ridging like on it for grip Yes. It's like this, you have to hold it like this. <laughs> hard parasols for hard men. <laughs> they're not giving them away, but uh, they're encouraging like children, like, give your father a parasol for his birthday. Or... <laughs> Shame him into using it. Yeah. Get, get to... Dad, uh... I don't want you to have another heat stroke. <laughs> right. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's absolutely so ridiculous. I uh, need to bow to me. 
Speaking of ridiculous uh, and Japanese culture, uh, Sega is closing their arcade division. I saw that. Yeah, it's a shame. It's been a it long is time a shame. coming. Yeah. What yeah. did they say? That yeah. Instead of firing eight hundred people, they like uh, suggested they retire. Or? Yes, they tried yeah. to uh, uh, encourage them to retire because well, retiring is not a thing in Japanese culture. You well, will. Yeah, I mean, you know, th- th- those those Project A two guys have been working on arcade games since the eighties. So, <laughs> yeah, time to put them out to pasture. Release a fantastic and glorious like arcade collection, and then just call it a day. <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, it's a shame. Uh, didn't Sega do the initial D cabinet, and uh, like they <laughs> produced a, a whole lot of uh, really great modern cabs. Uh, mm-hmm. That mm-hmm. Uh, so that's that's going to be a, a sad loss. Uh, it also means that uh, that hardware is going to be probably worth a lot over time if it's well maintained uh that is to say our initial d cabinet is not going to be worth anything because it's not well maintained (laughs) i think if i had to pick one like sega arcade cabinet to own and you know that's tough but i've had lots of bathroom breaks to think about this on so uh (laughs) i I would get an outrun cabinet i get a sit down outrun cabinet Outrun for yeah, dead, but uh, House of the Dead, yeah, super oh, on yeah. House of the Dead, yeah. Time crisis. Ti- I was gonna say but time Namco. crisis. That's Namco. Yes, oh. it is. Oh, yeah. You well, non. But time uh, crisis. Yeah. Time crisis would be a nice one to have as well with the the crouch mm-hmm. pedal. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That'd be super cool. Uh, I want uh, what was Hydro Virtual whatever Thunder. The, Hydro Thunder. Hydro oh. Thunder. Hydro Thunder was Midway, I think. Yeah, Hydro Thunder was, yeah, was Midway. Midway. Uh, yeah. But that is a, a cabinet that I have always wanted. Lost World, Jurassic Park. Oh. That would be a pretty good one. Star Trek Voyager Rail Shooter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, want, I want Mario. I got a Mario arcade I want, cabinet. I want the fucking uh, Mario Kart arcade cabinet. That would actually oh, be yeah. sick. Yeah, those, those are crazy. Yeah, I would have done one of the F-Zero ones that uh, were out there in the 2000s. Oh, for I didn't sure. know that the there F-Zero was an F-Zero awesome. one. That would be fucking awesome. Yeah, they I think it was a- running, basically it was running the same as like F-Zero GX, the GameCube one, I think. Is it it a- was basically the same game. Cockpit experience or just a uh, uh, stand-up uh, uh, steering wheel? It's a good question. I do not remember. I know it was one of the ones that even, it had like the, the memory card that some of those oh, arcade yep. machines had that you could bring. Let me see. I'm trying to remember that. Kind of like I've been uh, doing arcade forever, and I fucking miss arcade games. Initial decab that uh, lets you uh, keep track of your progress and and shit like that. Yeah, I kind of wish uh, that so, there was still a business for arcade cabinets, like a bigger one. It was uh, F Zero AX, and it was uh, it had its own seat and steering wheel and everything for nice. sure. That would be awesome. That would be seriously cool. What was the name of the? The arcade place at uh, Arizona Mills. That's what I'm trying to remember. Uh, was well, that GameWorks? Works? GameWorks. Yes. I've Last been to a GameWorks there, before. I went on acid, and I went up into the bar, and I ordered a Guinness, and like they hadn't changed their lines in years. It tasted like, and it like uh. really like fucked with me, and like get, made my trip go really bad. <laughs> so I had to go home. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I think uh, bravo to you for going to GameWorks on acid first off. Yeah. <laughs> or Arizona Mills in general on acid. Uh, or Arizona Mills in general. Was GameWorks <laughs> <One and only. laughs> Was uh GameWorks out here? Uh I don't I've only ever been to one GameWorks uh and it was, it was the one in Orlando. Uh and the one in Orlando is made up to look like an upside down building. Uh is that what did they do anything special like that with no okay and it, it's gone now anyway it's it's not there anymore we don't have rip box in the state yeah i think the last time i was there was uh brent's 21st birthday it was me him and his dad and we just brent such a like cool guy <laughs> <laughs> so what we the got- last bastion oh i apologize sorry i didn't mean to oh no you're good you're good uh, i got uh I wasn't old enough to drink yet because he's he's like a couple months older than I am. 
So I remember just like sitting there watching him drink. <laughs> and it's like, I, I'm going to go play upstairs. They, they had a, they had a whole bank of like the old arcade games mm-hmm. like that yep. I like. And so I just sat with my headphones on for three hours straight playing like centipede. It was fantastic. <sighs> I would play cool. dig dug for hours up there. <laughs> I think that was pretty last- great place to find modern arcade cabinets would be what a dave and busters other than that there's not really a uh golf land <laughs> yeah either. golf land I mean, or uh we're gonna say peter piper pizza but those are all fucking ancient what's the uh and same with any arcades They're main all, event like huh? oh yeah main event. Oh, yeah. Oh. bowling alleys bowling alleys will, will have new ones like bolero I, yeah we <laughs> we can't afford to keep our uh existing cabs in in good functional order there's no way that we can afford to buy new cabs Mm-mm. i'd like so to get us to a point where like we a can though anyways. besides like killer queen right yeah killer queen was uh pretty much the only one because um uh and i wasn't part of that uh because uh that was bef- like i didn't found the grid i helped build it uh but i was not a decision maker when it when it opened uh and uh uh they had bought uh two rare cabinets and one of them was uh killer queen it was one at the time one of 10 in the country um oh shit and the other one was some sort of like lunar lander game uh that uh used the old uh the old uh what's the fucking term for it like uh that tank battle game in old school oh, arcades and I, I know exactly what you're yeah, talking about. yeah yeah uh where it's it's a different way of drawing on the screen that makes it like super vivid and really really interesting but basically all you can do <laughs> is like highlights there's no color there's no oh, fill in or any vector graphics thank you very much yeah 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 i i saw one of those uh one of those cabinets at an antique uh in an antique mall forever ago and uh that game is hard as fuck <laughs> i don't have the patience to, to control thrusters like that <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we had um it was uh another uh you know it was one of very few in the country uh because it was a new cabinet that used vector graphics that made like some sort of lunar lander style game um that uh yeah there just weren't that many made i don't know what happened to that cab but like those were basically our only new cabs when we opened well you know i'm i'm old and i like to play the old ones in a new game if it looks cool maybe i'll play it uh there's a lot of like as far as like a newer light, a newer arcade cabinets. A lot of like, like movie licensing and stuff like that that I don't really care for. Um, like uh, that last Terminator arcade game. I think it was for Terminator Salvation. It was so fucking hard. And every, it's it's always like a buck. It's like a dollar or like a dollar twenty five to to play. And that just kind of like, well, I'm not gonna sit here and spend twenty bucks playing this game. I know what happens. Yeah, <laughs> I, I shoot at things. I take a break. I watch a badly rendered cutscene. I shoot at things, and then I take a break and watch another badly rendered cutscene. One of my favorite uh, tie-in cabinets that I ever played was definitely the Pod Racer one. Oh yeah, I actually had like the mm-hmm. like the levers and shit, and like you were actually in a fucking Pod Racer. That was sick. Um, they had that. I mean, I also I also like the old Star Wars trilogy arcade machine too. Yes, that was great. I love the Star Wars trilogy. The one. best arcade cabinet. <laughs> ever made Simpsons. on a licensed property is Revolution X. Yeah. <laughs> Revolution X was awesome. I don't think I ever played Revolution X. It's a, oh, it's, uh, it's a, an Aerosmith rail shooter, uh, where you, you are shoot shooting vinyl CDs records or, or is it vinyl records? Oh, yeah. 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 Or it could be CDs. I wasn't sure if it was vinyls or CDs. No, it was CDs. It was CDs. Okay. That's what I thought. Uh, it was, it was newish. Like, oh, mm, okay. Yeah, I think that cab- yeah, yeah, I think you had to like rescue the band or some shit like that. That came yeah. out in like ninety three or ninety four. There, there was also a, a I think it was a diehard licensed like beat 'em up that was really good. I can't remember what it was called though. Wow, a beat 'em up. Mm-hmm. Probably called Die Hard. 
I don't know I don't think it was a beat em up though. The best the best licensed arcade game is a uh, Street Fighter the movie, the game. Oh god. Yeah, you're, it's, <laughs> it's so many levels of of inception. <laughs> it was just called Die Hard Arcade. Um it was a beat em up. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It was a it was a Sega cabinet as well on the topic of Sega oh, arcade division going away. Come full circle. <laughs> and they died hard. They did. Those Sega they did. cabinets. It's sad. That game was really fucking good. Have I don't think I ever new, played that. Do you guys see the new Die Hard commercial that's been like it's I don't even remember what it's for. Like they get Bruce battery. Willis. Yeah, it's for a battery. Yeah, it's a battery commercial. Oh, and for it, Die Hards? Yeah. And they do like a Bruce Willis, like it's like a full diehard scene, basically. And oh, wow. it's it's great. and it's funny too because you can tell Bruce Willis is getting too old to actually do things. So he's like, there's one scene where he's like running away with like with the battery, and he's kind of like old man shuffling a little bit. <laughs> he's probably also phoning it in because uh, we've known for a long time he's kind of an asshole. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Big. Yeah, just I think like he phoned in the last two Die Hard movies. I I think. Um, well, the last one was really bad. I, I learned about yeah, him being an asshole uh, through Kevin Smith because a cop out. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, I'm just saying, Liberty Die Hard was actually not terrible. <laughs> um. Let's bring the yes. mood down and talk about Alex Trebek. Oh no! The original. You better do it now than at the end of the podcast. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, that guy was a f- fucking awesome dude, and it's a bummer that he's gone. And I probably won't watch Jeopardy anymore. This TV <laughs> host uh, hosted a popular uh, trivia show, Jeopardy. Uh, but Pat Bob Barker. What is that? Uh, sir, uh, who's, who is Pat Sajak? <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it's a shame after, like, it feels like so soon after he announced that he was winning his battle with pancreatic cancer. But, I mean, it was always a long shot, unfortunately, with his age and pancreatic cancer. It's like when you hear you, anyone has patri- pancreatic cancer, that's pretty much like you're just playing with borrowed time at that point. Oh, even we're. Before- we're in the process of getting rid of our Patriot cancer. Uh, the pancreas cancer is what, what he had. Patriot cancer is what the country has. <laughs> oh, you're right. My bad. My bad. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a national is of fluenza. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, yeah. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it's a shame. And a week, at least he, he outlasted, um, uh, Sean Connery. Yes. Yeah. Well, I mean, he was 10 years younger than him. (laughs) Okay. Yeah. So he didn't outlast Sean Connery. He just died a week later than Sean Connery did. I don't see the relation. Oh, yeah. celebrity jeopardy. The, the SNL. Yeah. Right. I saw, I saw, I was <laughs> not going to bring it. it up. I definitely saw a fucking image like that. <laughs> it was, <laughs> I think Danny shared it. <laughs> and Burt Reynolds Shuck died Trebek. already. Who else was on yep. that show? Um, uh, French Stewart. French <laughs> Stewart is thankfully still alive and well. I don't even remember. Um, <laughs> I think, uh, I mean, really, uh, the only people that anyone knows or cares about from Celebrity Jeopardy is uh, Chocolate, Chocolate. is Sean Connery and uh, and Burt Reynolds. Yeah. Classic. Yeah, Danny shared the, so we meet again, Trebek. <laughs> <laughs> I see your mother's already here. <laughs> 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 so yeah it's sad uh and i'm wondering who they're going to get to replace him because you know they're going to have to has uh uh anyone you pick ever done a guest 
host spot on Jeopardy or has Trebek been does he have a hundred percent attendance over 40 plus years? I'm pretty sure. I actually don't, I, I don't know, but I don't, I don't think he has. I don't know. I've watched, I've watched a lot of Jeopardy. Well, also with game shows, they don't, it's not like he, they're filming it every day. It's like they just film an entire season in like a week and call it. Right. <laughs> they, uh, they were talking like Ken Jennings to replace him. Cause he's like the most winningest. I can see can that. Understand. I don't know that Ken Jennings. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, yeah. I don't know that he has the charisma. He looks like a nerd. I want to push books out of his hands. Um, <laughs> Let's get Pat and Oswald to do it. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Would that would be great. But let's be real. We're just going to get fucking what's his face. Steve Harvey. No, don't put that out there. I, no, mean, I would pick. It it did uh, wonders it for comes. for he, Wheel of Fortune or not Wheel of Fortune but fucking Family Feud. But it, but, it took it from Richard Dawson. Wayne Brady, let's get Wayne Brady back on our game show. You know what? I you know I think Wayne Brady would be good, but I, I also don't necessarily think of like when Alex Trebek, Jane Lynch. I almost feel like um, in John. <laughs> I almost feel like they can't pick someone who carry well known. <laughs> like they can't pick a celebrity because <sighs> Trebek uh, always had this air of like intellect to him. And it's because everyone associated him with Jeopardy and he ha- held himself very well in, in that position, you know, and uh, just kind of exuded this confidence and an intellect and it it was a good host a good charismatic host but anyone else who's going to go into that we're going to know them from something else so they're going to be carrying these other connotations with them that ended up working for jim for drew carey uh weirdly but i don't know if it would for jeopardy so that's of all the lines of, of all the lines and episodes that he shot Hundreds and thousands, or however many, they should just uh, do a. They're gonna uh, deep uh, fake him. Synthesize his voice. He probably said every word. Up there at this point. Oh, oh my get, god! Yeah. They'll, they'll get the IBM computer. Yes, that, I was just gonna say it's. They're gonna get deep blue. Yep. Um. Uh, but though, Donald Trump did just lose his job. <laughs> No, uh, no you run. No. He would answer all the questions himself, and then he would answer them wrong, and then he'd give himself points anyway. <laughs> I got a million dollars today. <laughs> God. Uh, uh, that's that's nice work. Uh, oh man. Yeah. Who was the president that got fucked over in the 2020? Yeah, every election? single question is going to be about his. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Which god! Which president did more for black people than any president in history? <laughs> <laughs> Which oh. president got the second most votes of any president in the history of the United States? No, he's going to say first was, most. If you count the legal me, okay. votes. Which election saw the most single-sided victory of all time against the worst person in the world? <laughs> oh, you, you know, you know who would be rad as a as a as a host for that show? You get get what get whatever her name is that played Janet in The Good Place. Yeah. Oh, totally. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. yes, would be great. Or just get Ted Danson. <laughs> I yeah. I would. I, I would. I Ted Danson would be great. I feel I, I like decades worth of show, man. <laughs> I feel like historically we've been under Uh, you know, like good place, great. Uh bored to death, fucking phenomenal. Wasn't he on some uh CSI series as well or something like that, uh somewhere in the interim that wasn't if if Ted Danson should host anything, it should be Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> 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 Actually, yeah, I'm okay with that. Also, that one does not work. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want more Ted Danson because oh, man he has was on CSI Cyber. CSI Cyber was the one you're okay. thinking of. Um, he has grown to be such a silver fox, 
and oh, yeah. oh my god he is a babe the, the, i mean even just in his mannerisms the way he speaks is just so charming and he is a handsome man i i want to be i want to be ted danson when i grow up but with the voice of uh james spader <laughs> the voice uh, okay i guess i can see that i never really thought like james spader doesn't leap out in my mind as having a uh a notable voice but now that you mention it and i i'm imagining it yeah it, uh, i'm you thinking of him specifically drawing. in secretary and uh, how oh yeah i forgot about that yeah i, I was thinking I blacklist Oh, sure. I just was want to point out when you said James Spader, my head for some reason went to David Spade. <laughs> <laughs> that is a bad mistake to make. <laughs> that would be a really weird combination. Ted Danson's face with James uh, David Spader's <laughs> voice coming out. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Oof. That, would, that would just be a wacky human being. <laughs> yeah. Pretty wackadoo. <laughs> I'm trying to think. There was but, something else that uh, I was looking at, like, right before. And as usual, the second we start the fucking podcast, I have no idea what the hell happened or what's going on. Um, but I was looking at something before we started. The, oh, yeah. So uh, there's a fan mod coming out. Uh, early next year, I think early next year, like March or May of next year for Portal. Did you guys see this? The fourth dimension. Yeah, Portal no, Reloaded. And it adds an extra portal type. So you've got your normal entrance and exit portal, and then you've got a time portal. So oh. you go through the time portal, and it, it's the same room in the future, just all ugly and, and torn down and so you have to kind of work between the two to mm. uh uh work through the puzzles and uh some of it in it basically involves like item duplication so oh, okay. if you need two cubes for buttons just, cool. you can use the one in the two present then shoot uh a time portal to go to the future and take that same cube from the future back to the past to activate the other button in the past or in the present. I feel like that'd be a great game if they had like <laughs> the portal, uh, one extra portal that was just for a joke and it was to go back in time. And you go back in time into the room and you just cause a fucking. Undo all your progress. You're like. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you end up working against yourself. It's like that new for, uh, uh, shooter, uh, arena shooter game that's coming out where you uh, oh, have yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the chance to undo the past by shooting the person who shot you in the first round before <laughs> they shoot you. But for Portal. Yeah. And if you accidentally touch yourself, you cause a paradox and the game just. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, got um, entirely new writing. Uh, an entirely new soundtrack. Uh, it, it looks like they're putting a lot of effort into it, and it looks very, very good. And I'm I'm happy to see something being done in Portal because that is probably one of the most perfect gaming experiences of oh. you know the past fucking twenty years. The amount of joy I've gotten out of playing the Portal Two co-op is. Uh out there it's excellent Absolutely. yeah it is and both games and, uh, uh are the perfect length they feel short but it's exactly what both games needed uh i i think that they're just real shining examples of uh perfect games Perfect game design. I wouldn't have been mad if Valve would have made a few more of them. Wouldn't but, have right? been mad if Valve was still in interested in making video games. Especially since they were tying Portal and Half-Life 2 together, but whatever. That's another conversation for another day. They're yeah. drowning in that Steam money, dude. They don't need to develop games anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Why make games when we can sell them and make money? <laughs> yeah, they probably make a mo enough money where they don't even have to move anymore. There's just like they just have a little like pipe that money's just constantly flowing out of, and they kind of direct it at their bodies to push them in the direction that they need to go. Build up a reputation. <laughs> it's an intern with a fire hose that's quarters coming out of. <laughs> 
<laughs> build build uh, a solid uh, reputation of trust. Uh, create a uh, sales platform for distributing and managing um, updates to your games because such a thing doesn't exist yet. Then open it up to every other developer and sit back and that's it. And make make yeah. money. Just collect money. Yeah. Just Enjoy the collect services. money. Yep. I mean, hey, mm-hmm. I, good on them, I guess. I just feel like the rest of us are are really missing out. You'd, I wish that they would do something, with, at least give the IP, to, like sell the IP or put it out there, you know? Because I, I guarantee you a developer would love to take a crack out of that. If, yep. if Valve is going to do it, then why don't they just let someone else do it? Yep. Sell it to, sell it to Microsoft. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to watch it tank if you want to watch it actually i it, so if they put it in in the hands of microsoft games division you know who could do it is arcane studios yeah that's it now nah, they should sell it to ea see all i could think of like the moment we talked about selling portal to microsoft is the first thing they would do is give us a soulless Minecraft portal crossover. <laughs> <laughs> Steve's in mind is or Steve's in portal. Ah. Honestly, I I would portal and kinda, shell in Minecraft. <laughs> I would kind of like to have portals in Minecraft. I think that would be cool. Like to have a portal gun in Minecraft. I'm sure there's a mod for it. I would think so. Um, in uh, other news. Um, oh. I've already forgotten. I was just looking at it. Oh yeah, of remakes. Yesterday uh, was uh, oh. N Seven Day, and uh, yesterday was November seventh, N Seven Day. Oh, yeah. uh, so uh, of course, as the rumors have been saying for months, uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition has been confirmed as being under development. Uh, it's a remaster of the first three Mass Effect games, um, with, uh, I mean, and it's not just going to be like straight ports for the next generation or anything like that. Like it, it is, is a, a proper it remaster. It comes with like, uh, all of the DLC and everything they ever released is just part of the collection. So even like exclusive stuff that I think you had to do like pre-orders to get, I think you can just get it in this collection too. Like basically oh, everything right. they ever released you can get. Yeah, and uh, I still won't play the first game ever again if I get that collection. I'm just going to jump right into two and three. I hated the first game so fucking much. I feel like they'd have to re, like they'd have to do something to update it, wouldn't they? Like it's it's not just going to be upscaled graphics, is it? This is I think the gameplay is talking about. No, it isn't. Is it bio? It was uh, yeah. It's It's Bioware. uh, Yeah, but it's uh, EA is like the people who uh, publish it. Bioware is a publisher. Are you sure? Because yeah. it was on. It was like EA shows up in the loading screen for the third one, and it was in. Or, it was only on Origin. Really? Uh huh. Is that true? No. No. <laughs> um. I thought for sure. Sorry, I wasn't saying no to you. I was saying no to my. They were publishers. Are electronic yeah, arts. Electronic Arts. I'll be goddamned. I had no I'm idea. I'm telling you. Telling I- you. You didn't believe me. No, I didn't. Yeah. So Microsoft EA Game Studios published the first one and uh, <laughs> EA published the second and third ones, it looks like. Huh. Had no idea. I always thought of Bioware as its own thing. Like, I, I always think of Bioware versus EA as opposed to Bioware published by EA. I'm hurt that you wouldn't believe me, Ryan. <laughs> It just His didn't make sense. Was into question. It just didn't make sense because EA is trash and Bioware isn't usually. In ex- unless you count Anthem. It didn't used to be. <laughs> yeah, Bioware was purchased by EA in 2007, it looks like. Oh, yeah. really? A long time ago. Oh, wow. Hmm. Technically, it retained its own branding, though. I think it was just a... But then in 2009, it, it started taking more over it. So maybe that's why Bio, Bioware sucks now. That uh, would explain <laughs> it. I would certainly explain it. Electronic Arts sucks. But yeah, um, I hated the first one because they, they position it 
as a first person shooter RPG, but they use D and D mechanics to determine whether you hit or not. So like, it doesn't matter how well you're aiming, like, you know, you're in a first person shooter kind of position, aiming down the sights and uh, pointing directly at an enemy, watching your bullets miss because your stats suck. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I I didn't care about that as much as I just cared about the uh, guns handled like shit. And uh, the overheat mechanic was garbage and the driving, the driving. And hey, they, they at least were self-aware about that one. They make fun of that in the third game. <laughs> they, they, uh, they make fun of the Mako in the third one. They're just like, yeah, that thing uh, sucked. It couldn't handle for shit. <laughs> I have respect I for uh, for uh, companies that have that that level of self-awareness. You got it. <clears throat> what, now the question is, what handled worse, the Mako or the Halo 1 Warthog? The Mako. It's the Mako. <laughs> It's not even a question. It is the Mako. <laughs> yeah, I could, I, could, I could drive the Warthog in the first one. Yeah, the Warthog actually functioned in the first <laughs> game. I could get from point A to point B, albeit with a few detours uh, in, in, in the Warthog. The Warthog in Halo 1, though, come on, you turn a corner and you're just skating for for days. That's <laughs> not... You, that's, you, sneeze, you sneeze, you're doing donuts. That's not a bug, that's a feature, because that's still how the Warthog handles. I, I, it was worse. But. Maybe maybe your driving skills are just shit, Tyler. <laughs> no, you know what? it's because Halo's physics is notoriously floaty as fuck. Oh yeah, Halo. I it's what I like. Oh. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I've never been a Halo fan. Probably never will be a Halo fan. I've tried every single Halo, and Same. just noped the fuck out. I don't like how it handles. Because their physics are so them. fucked, they it feels sluggish compared to other first person shooters that I love. That's understandable. I was one of the kids who played Halo Three and Halo Two online constantly and couldn't stop. <laughs> I, really like, I didn't play Halo Two as much. I played a lot of Halo Three. See, I can I, still smell the code red on your breath. <laughs> no, dude. I was drinking Coca Cola all day every day. Don't come <laughs> <at me. laughs> um. Fine, sorry, mellow yellow. Uh, yellow bro. <laughs> um, you know, we, we used to go to Cracker Barrel. The only reason we went to Cracker Barrel is because my dad wanted to have mellow yellow. They didn't have it out here at the time. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Like, yeah, I want to go get a mellow yellow and, and uh, look at some rocking chairs. I, I laugh, yellow, but I'm, food. I'm also one of the people who would go to Taco Bell just because it was the only place you could get Baja Blast. <laughs> That's they got rid different. of it, right? That actually tastes like yeah, they Baja got rid of Baja Blast. Blast. Um, no, yeah, they did. Taco Bell is ditching Baja Blast. Oh, wait. How, how how often was this? I was at a Taco Bell last week. I don't know if got... they have done it yet, but they have announced. It, it's oh. like, you know, because they're also killing Mexican pizzas off their menu and they're they're changing up no their menu. Potatoes. I, I can understand that as long as a, a Baja Blast is still available somewhere, because they just released like a like a zero calorie version of that that tastes slightly worse. <laughs> just slightly. <laughs> uh, you can, as far as I know, still get Baja Blast by the can. But for the longest time, you could only get Baja Blast at Taco Bell. It was the only place that it was available. Came out. Like, yeah, that was that. It was it was why I wanted to go. I mean, I was also in Minot, so there wasn't much else to do. Oh God, <laughs> Minot, gross, in, uh, North, North Dakota? Dakota. Yeah, I used to spend some summers out there. Oh, really? I'm sorry, North Dakota place. is such a yeah, fucking I mean, sea I, I, of I, I nothing. Liked it. it was kind of boring, but that was the charm. We used to play a festival there every year called Why Not Festival in Minot. <laughs> I had a good time. There's some cool art galleries and stuff up there. Mm-hmm. Why not Minot? To be fair, I've never been mm-hmm. to Minot. I have only driven through North Dakota, and it is a sea of fucking nothing when you're on the interstate going through North Dakota. I think it's 95. I've never even heard of this place. It's either 95 right or 90 that goes through North Dakota. One goes through North Dakota, one goes through South Dakota. Dan, you've never heard of North Dakota? No, Minot. <laughs> <laughs> what is like, this Northern like, Dakota that you're talking I about? I believe in the unified Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, has not Dakota. Dan has not recognized the I've, split of the Dakotas. I've got friends who North grew Dakota. up in Minot. I've got friends who still live in Minot. Um, uh, yeah, my, 
I, 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 I don't recognize the sovereignty of North Dakota, man. <laughs> <laughs> the highlights of, of my summers in Minot were going to Aladdin's Castle at the mall, the weird tiny mall they had. And uh, I was going to say Minot has a mall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Driving around with my uncle and his like in his like ninety four Plymouth Duster, yes, Alpine stereo system, just because there was nothing else to do, and then driving around with my grandpa in his cop car, giving people tickets downtown. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's right. I was one of those kids. How dare you? But yeah, when you hit North Dakota on the interstate, when you're going through uh, Minnesota and you get to the to the fucking state line of North Dakota, you're gonna hit. Fargo Bismarck and then oh, no Baltimore. yeah going going east to west you're gonna hit Fargo right. then nothing until you hit Double the fu- until you hit Bismarck which is on the other fucking border on the, yes, the westmost border <laughs> and when you're doing that in the winter when the sky is the same Fuck color that. as the the fucking fields it's disorienting <laughs> as hell I mean, North Ryan, Dakota Ryan, 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 truckers. is already an analog for purgatory, so it may as well look like it, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sucks, dude. Um, so, yeah, uh, the uh, Mass Effect thing um, uh, is a big deal. I, uh, as I understand, it, it's going to be coming out on uh, Xbox uh, One and the new ones, uh, PS4 and PS5, Switch, et cetera, et cetera. So like because of the time that they're announcing, and I think it's early next year that it's coming out. Like, didn't they announce a release date on that too? Yeah, they did. And I don't remember what it is. I think it is February though. Yeah. So like it's been in oh, the works for a while. Spring. It says spring. I, I feel spring, like, okay. I feel like if, you, if you're releasing a collection of like remastered games and stuff, you want people to go like you want to tell people within a short enough amount of time for them to remember that it exists because uh i i've I've forgotten about so many of those like uh, remake collections hearing about them too early and it's like oh yeah well 30 dollars i don't know my biggest hope for this is that it somehow revitalizes mass factory's uh multiplayer the online co-op for that was really good Hmm. and uh the servers are unsurprisingly dead these days yeah uh, right absolutely worth playing so i hope they include something like that i'm just looking forward to actually like i've wanted to go back and play it because i never actually played through all three mass effects you guys have heard my story about it glitching 20 yeah. 30 hours in the first one so now like getting a refresh and having it on a new system like i think i'll actually give it a chance <laughs> yeah and same i did not play through all the way through any of the games but that shouldn't surprise you I was going to say, this, this is my surprise phase. I played all three for 20 minutes. <laughs> and I was bored and moved on to the next game. Approximately. <laughs> so um, their official word is uh, our goal was not to remake or reimagine the original games, but to modernize the experience so that fans and new players can ex- uh, experience the original work in its best possible form. Uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition will include single player base content and DLC from Mass Effect, Mass Effect 2, and Mass Effect 3, plus promo weapons, armors, and packs, all remastered and optimized for 4K Ultra HD. It will be available in spring 2021 for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC, with forward compatibility and targeted enhancements on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. So the first one's basically. Go ahead. <laughs> Our goal was not to remake or reimagine Mass Effect. It was to do far less work than that. <laughs> <laughs> Our goal was not to fix any of the criticisms that you have had about this series for the past 20 years. Um, now the, the first one's just going to be you're going to turn it on and get into the menu, and it'll just be a button. And you press the button, the Mako will just explode. And then you'll get. <laughs> And then you'll go to Mass Effect 2. The, Pretty sure that's how it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they don't uh, specifically mention the Switch in that uh, press release, but it has leaked uh, on uh, some retailer site that it's uh, going to be coming to the Switch. So, All right. Nice. Now you can play Mass Effect 1 while shitting. <laughs> <laughs> Play shit while you shit. <laughs> <laughs> this belongs here in the bathroom. 
<laughs> when you're done, deposit your system in the toilet. <laughs> and in fact, the also entire time in the toilet. <laughs> in fact, the entire time that you're driving the Mako, the Switch won't even let you play unless you go into the bathroom. <laughs> it's not coming to Switch. It is not? Nope. I thought that there was uh, some retailer leak or something like that. Um. Yeah, but now it's saying it's official that it's not coming. Hmm. That means that retail leak was Shinfo. That's Boom. a shame. Ooh, I would think that it would do well uh, on the Switch, but oh well. They wouldn't even they, they could just release it and not even remaster it, you know? For the yeah, Switch, exactly. So just fit. do a port, um, or just make a cloud version of it. <laughs> oh, dude, the cloud thing was so weird. Just yeah. out of nowhere. Um, cloud a lot of game to stream. Yeah. Holy shit! Yeah. The uh, oh, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Oh, yeah, on uh, yes, um, no, I had uh, indigestion, Kaylin. You bore him. The how droll, Kaylin. How (laughs) droll. I don't remember if we (laughs) talked about this, but uh, EA's EA Play service is going to be part of Game Pass Ultimate starting Tuesday. Ooh. Is it an add-on? No, it's just part of it. Like, you don't have to pay for it. It comes with your Game Pass Ultimate subscription. At least I think it's EA Play. Um, It might be the old Mass Effect part of that. Maybe because it would be backwards compatible on your uh, yeah it Xbox, would. <sighs> but it wouldn't be 4K. Re- yeah, Xbox Game Pass mm-hmm. Ultimate members get EA Play on November 10th, so EA Play just becomes Ooh. an automatic part of uh, Game Pass Ultimate. Um, and they're working on bringing more Bethesda games to uh, Game Pass. Um, <laughs> But yeah, uh, EA Play has a lot of games on it. And uh, while they're a a lot of rehashing of uh, the uh, same fucking sports titles, uh, there are a a handful of uh, decent games uh, that are a part of that. Um, Burnout Paradise uh, being one of them. The Burnout series in general is probably one of my favorite racing uh, series of all time uh, next to Wipeout. Paradise is chill as fuck. Yeah, I like Paradise a lot. Uh, I was I um, tend not like I I love racing games, but I tend not to do the more realistic uh, racing games. Oh, like Forza and stuff like that. Yeah, Yeah. but I I recently started playing Forza and Mm -hmm. um, I started playing Forza Horizon 4. And the open world thing is pretty cool. Yeah, it does the open world thing like Burnout Paradise does, where you're driving from mm. from event to event, and there are things to do in between. Um, there's a lot less freedom than in Burnout Paradise. Like Burnout Paradise, you can it, like just go to any fucking intersection and start a match. This is like, uh, you know, basically you're eligible for these certain things and you can do them in, you know, and, and drive to them and maybe you'll find something, you know, special to do between point A and point B, but it's not nearly as expansive as burnout paradise in my opinion, but it's gorgeous. And it really threw me for a loop when like, so they've got this intro thing. I think the timing without internet connections. <laughs> <laughs> the timing must be off because that was funny, I swear. <laughs> it's, it's the lag on my end. So I apologize. I, I just I, joining my comedic timing, guys, I swear, I promise. They do this uh, little intro <laughs> thing in where you're driving through the seasons and it's just kind of an intro, you know, thing. You're you're racing through the seasons. It gives you a taste of like the different uh, uh, vehicle types and, and shit like that. And you get to the end and uh, the chick gets out of the car and uh, she goes, all right, where's Ryan? And I'm like, excuse me? 
<laughs> and Where were you, Ryan? It, then it made it prompted me to create a character and I'm like, what the fuck? And now my GPS is always like, hey, Ryan, I uh, set the destination to and I'm like, this is fucking weird. And even if my friends aren't playing or have never played Forza, it shows their usernames all on there. of the other cars are, are using the usernames of everyone on my friends list. That's not scary. So it's like just it. weird. It's weird. It's gorgeous and it's fun, but it's weird. I wonder if it could say my name. I'm curious. Have you not played it? Yeah. Say my I name. I watched my brother play it and mm. it was saying Jared. All right, where's you know. Karen? <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to speak to the manager? <laughs> <laughs> the best I usually ever get is like Colin or something like that. Yeah, I could see that. People oh, in the ca- phone call it would be the most pretentious na- way to pr- uh, spell Colin ever. It's like, my name is Colin. <laughs> Spelled with a K A Y. <laughs> or you could be Cal N. Like, uh, I think I'm like a Brum Krypton or something. Yeah. Before <laughs> Zod. <laughs> So we mm-hmm. have gotten to the end of the episode. Uh, gentlemen, um, I believe we probably all have the same high point of the week. Um, yeah. You could see in my room. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was that a veiled joke about uh, legal weed? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's another thing. Arizona, Arizona gets legal weed. That's another thing. We're going to tax the fuck out some rich people. Yep. (laughs) Yeah. Um, And uh, fund fund education. Um, uh, The money from the uh, marijuana tax and uh, from the other proposition uh, all goes to fund education. So a huge win for Red for Ed. (laughs) Um, oh man, I'm so pumped for our kids to, you know, have a classrooms that don't have 90 children in them. Perhaps I am so pumped you know to what? help perhaps. Arizona's children's children by getting stoned. And you know what? Perhaps the best thing for our children's education is we're getting fucking Betsy DeVos out of office. Fuck yeah! yes! Oh, oh. we did it, everyone. <laughs> Cue the Q George Bush gift. Mission accomplished. <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's not uh, say that yet. <laughs> so, uh, what uh, what games have you uh, you guys been playing to get you through the week of uh, uh, roller coaster of emotions? Well, I spent a lot of time. I spent like three days uh, out of town, so. When I was home, I played a little bit of Swords of Ditto and a little bit of Mega Man 11. Swords of Ditto is so much fun and so fucking cute. I love the soundtrack to that, too. Yeah, it's great. Uh, I, uh, I've uh, i finally cleared all the tutorial stuff now, and, and now I'm just running around having a good time. So Nice. Um, yeah. <laughs> I really love the concept of that game and uh, I had bought it on PC when it first came out and it wasn't great and then they did the Mormo's Curse uh, uh, DLC to correct a lot of the original uh, errors and I bought it on Switch and, and played a ton of it I'm like three or four generations in with no Mormo win no, right. is, it, is there an end to the game or Probably is it kind of whenever you yeah, okay. I don't think there is. Mm. But it's okay. it's fascinating to see the world change, you know. Oh, I I, I think that that's that's the best part because like you know, that's why it's part of why I enjoyed Chrono Trigger so much, you know, is traveling forward or backwards into the future, locations would change and things like that. Mm-hmm. Felt just like a little dash of that. It's nice. Yeah, seriously cool. Plus, plus the, the cracked out sticker frog is fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> also, we Everybody get... Is. Where the fuck... Hold on. Uh, I actually own this. Uh, this soundtrack. 
And like everything, everything on this soundtrack is just so goddamn good. But particularly. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, basically, if you like Adventure Time, you would love the aesthetic of Swords of Ditto so much. Uh, and the music was created with the following tools. A kazoo, a Casio CZ-1000, Casio SA-10, DIY modular synthesizer, no name yet, Yamaha Electone B4CR, Yamaha Portasound PS3, Korg Monologue, DIY piano string resonator, an egg or two, a ride <laughs> cymbal, just a single ride cymbal, Lots of silly percussion, including a computer keyboard, Cubase Pro 8.5. Perfect. Yeah. Beautiful. Also, I kind of loved our little uh, topless robot dance party right there. <laughs> That's how we should begin every episode. We should. We should 100%. Just. <laughs> just Dan, be... of course, has to look dead into the camera. <laughs> You're not allowed to dance. <laughs> You're just going to. <laughs> yes, perfect. You can't yeah. spell dance without Dan, though. I was gonna say that. <laughs> <damn it. laughs> that was beautiful. Well, as for what I've played this this week, I I finished Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. I was not aware that there was so much post game content. Yeah, Pikachu dies. <laughs> yeah, you like actually go to the farm where your parents <laughs> sent Pikachu to. <laughs> you have the option of making a hat or just taxidermying your Pikachu, though. When will they find just, a cure for the Pokemon? The stat bonus is <laughs> worth it alone. Just, but, you just know. Seeing, I, think it's, I imagine seeing <laughs> old, old, decrepit Pikachu in the field just like, Pika! <laughs> And he's just, and it, you, you just kind of cry. <laughs> Look away, boy. <laughs> Old yellow. <laughs> thank, thank you, Kaylin. We were perfectly in sync with the shotgun. It was really good. <laughs> oh, oh, that, that oh. was incredible. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Old yellow. Old yellow. Oh, God. <laughs> it's too good. No, Grandpa, I actually don't want old yellow to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> yeah, so enjoy yeah, your enjoy your played. time with uh, Let's Go. <laughs> I did enjoy my time with old yellow. Um, <laughs> it's kind of cool. I, think, I didn't know, realize, but like at the end, they have a whole bunch of extra stuff. Like, you can... That, like Pokemon Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> yes. Look, I know you're chasing that high again. It's not going to come so easy. <laughs> I just meant like the post game stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you can like go and play against all the gym leaders again, and they add like Pokemon masters everywhere, so you can go around and fight and, or you know battle new people and. Uh, like Your lust for violence wasn't quenched, so we threw other people who were just as insane as you, little boy. <laughs> it becomes like a high-level Pokemon dogfighting ring. <laughs> <laughs> Actually covered by ESPN. <laughs> the Ocho. The Ocho. You can actually throw dollar bills with the with this uh, motion sensing technology uh of the switch like you can like throw dollars at the two animals that are just fighting each other as a bet we threw two pikachus in a kiddie pool and gave them knives <laughs> <laughs> the motion controls of the pokeball can... <laughs> oh here we go there you go yeah <laughs> no like use your mouth uh -oh. Uh oh, I don't like it. Okay, we're moving uh -oh. on. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ryan, you're, you're such a fake gamer girl, bro. <laughs> Can I buy uh -oh. Ryan bathwater? 
Oh Joke's God. on you. I don't bathe. <laughs> the, the blue hair is natural. <laughs> it's uh, That's the uh, mold growing out of my scalp. It's, it's the, the blue green algae Maybe uh, treatment. It. Maybe it's mold. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Dang? Dang. Uh, some of my friends Dang. started playing Deep Rock Galactic again, so you know I had to jump on that. I Any still want to jump into that with you uh, at some point because uh, I bought it during one of the uh, last Steam sales that uh, that I shelled a bunch of shit into and uh, really only played the tutorial and part of the first mission because I feel like it would just be more fun with other people. Like going through that alone it's, isn't. Yeah. It's way more fun with people, uh, especially the, the the robot they give you in single player is super useful, but it's it's not the same. It's fun watching your friends uh, mine through a pit and drop 30 feet to their death and scream for help. <laughs> <laughs> Robots just can't do it. Just doesn't scratch the same edge, you know? Right. It's the, it's the little things in life, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're going to have to jump into that uh, at some point because Every- that would be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Every time I, I hear the, every time I hear the name Deep Rock Galactic, my head immediately just starts singing Beastie Boys. Deep Rock Galactic, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Deep Rock right. Galactic, Deep Rock Galactic, Deep Rock Galactic. <laughs> also, uh, I, I haven't played any of this yet, but they did put out some new content for Phasmophobia uh, right around Ooh. Halloween. I heard I about don't that. Remember what they added? But one thing they did add that's super cool is. Uh, when they talk to you on the spirit box, now it actually gives you a text readout of what they're saying to you, so you don't have to guess what they're saying. I'll now know when it's telling me to die. Or, yeah, <laughs> die. Kill. Behind. Behind. Yep. How about I you, Cal? I and- first time I heard I, th- I thought that he said kind. I was like, are you, are you, are you evil? And I thought it said kind. <laughs> and Dan's there just going, no, he said behind. <laughs> Be kind. <laughs> Be kind. <laughs> You're too innocent for your own good, Tyler. <laughs> the fact That's that adorable. your brain would even guess like the ghost said kind just says a lot about you. Also, <laughs> think about it. <laughs> Literally like, none of them are kind to ghosts. <laughs> That's kind of the point of the game. Like, you're not going to, like, randomly get a nice ghost. You're not going to get around where no one's going to die. Sometimes they're pretty nice. They walk up behind Tyler and give him a hug from behind, and, you know, he's okay. I thought it was a kind ghost. God, I can't. <laughs> thing, I cannot. Tyler, no such thing. I cannot there can't be wait. a kind ghost because ghosts aren't real. That's I fair. cannot wait to upgrade my my VR so I can pass the the Oculus on down. Oh my God! Mm-hmm. Torture this poor boy. Oh yes. I'm a die. I'm a die. Cal, How about you, Kayla? Cal N. <laughs> um. Oh, I've been playing um, uh, Doom. Uh, I was playing the original Doom and Doom 2, and then I just kind of started Doom 2016. So I've been on a Doom kick. You've played 2015 uh, Doom? Better. <laughs> yeah, you know, played Doom 1, Doom 2, <laughs> Doom 2016. It's been a lot the of other ones did Dooms. Dangerous me. <laughs> I'm just Doom saying 3047. Doom, Doom 822 is where it started going off the rails. Hey, they you, back. Right. Just skipped 2,000 doobs. <laughs> My favorite is Doom Dream Drop Dissidents of a Hellborn Angel. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is Birth um, by Sleeping then, with Demons. Is that the director's cut or the original? <laughs> the the, the uh, 2016.5. Oh, sorry. And then I've been busy with my web series called Hot Sauce for Blood, where I uh, review different uh, hot sauces. You can find us on Instagram. And uh, I did a review of the Dunkin' Donuts uh, spicy ghost pepper donut that they had uh, for Halloween. Oh, interesting. I I didn't know that they did that. Yeah, it wasn't any good. And I kind of bashed it. And I was like, hey, you know, Alien Donuts, uh, you should make a spicy donut then alien donuts from scottsdale hit me up and i linked them up with a local hot sauce company called big red's hot sauce 
and then we i went over there and we uh like made like a prototype spicy donut and now they're gonna have it as part of their like weekly donut offerings in scottsdale holy so if you like crap donuts, if you like spicy food yeah it's really cool so i've been doing that kind of stuff kaylin's awesome. kaylin's so doing the real work in in this right, pandemic right, right. Are you going to make... be our topless robot hot sauce som now? Yes. I was kind of hoping that Hot Sauce for Blood was going to be a show about doing blood transfusions, but replacing <laughs> blood. blood hot sauce. Hey, Dude, you know, you once I start running out of ideas, we can go there and we can talk about it. Uh, <laughs> the episode is just footage of someone screaming. <laughs> You just You'll never believe what happened today. Watch the sludgy hot sauce go down the IV. <laughs> yeah, we'll have we'll be releasing the official hot sauce for God music video later later this month or sometime before Christmas, and uh, it'll you can see me naked in a tub uh, full of hot sauce in the music video. So. Uh, a little spicy. <laughs> you, little spicy. Little spicy. you can't see you naked. <laughs> we had we've had to blur a little bit of it. Uh, when I say a little bit, I mean a little. Oh, bit. Well, yeah, I mean not a lot to blur. <laughs> uh, yeah, Kalen, I am saving these two for you. These are those those. Uh, you remember the Japanese candies that I had that where it was yeah. Russian roulette habanero. I don't know if yes. one of these is spicy, but I've got two left, and I'm saving them both for you. Oh, you really thank you. That'd be awesome. It'd be so cool. But yeah, go check out Hot Sauce for Blood. Oh, never mind. I've got three left. Maybe. I'm saving all three for you. Uh, unless the first one that you eat is spicy, and then I will eat the other ones. Fuck yeah. Um, awesome. So, yeah. Uh, you you can collect those uh, this week. Yes. Gotta catch them all. Boogerman. Um... I uh, have been kind of jumping around. Uh, Watch Dogs Legion, um, Forza Horizon 4, uh, and um, No More Heroes on the Switch, and yeah. uh, played the um, Hyrule Warriors uh, Age of Calamity demo. Um, yeah, I think that's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Brad, man. Oh, yeah. I, really, that I, I played that as well. I also played a little bit of that control. Really enjoying Watch Dogs Legion. Um, uh, I, it's just such, such a fun game. There's so much possibility in that game. Like, if I wanted to just fucking bork a save, I could have more fun in that game than I could in Grand Theft Auto. Have you uh, recruited any old grandmas to do anything yet? Not yet. No. <laughs> oh, I have not. We're check in every week until you do. Not necessarily yeah. had a need to yet. But. Yeah. Well, you. That sounds like. I mean, it, it's not a need. It's a want mm. to. Re- yeah, I was gonna say. When would you ever need to? I did also play um, uh, Death Stranding on PC. I ended up picking it up on PC to see what those improvements would be uh, in the recent Steam sale. I picked it up. Um, and it drives it, like they do in engine um, cutscenes uh, where it's not real time rendered cutscenes, it's pre rendered in engine. And uh, when you have like the settings at maximum and you're kind of fucking with, uh, you know, pushing quality in the game, it ends up making those cutscenes look like fucking horse shit. So that kind of sucks. Um, but mm. other than that, uh, it looks real pretty on PC. It- did you feel like playing a UPS simulator simulator just because uh, we're getting closer to the Christmas season? Just getting ready for that. <laughs> just being uh, Santa Rita's. <laughs> Sounds like a. I still don't understand that game. I can't. It's, it, honestly, it's a lot of fun. Have you played it? Do you practice Santa Rita's? I watch <laughs> people play it. <laughs> uh, I ain't got no pr- uh, crystal ball. And got no jingle balls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kill you. Kill you. Uh, 
he has turned the idea of that song into torture for me. (laughs) Can't handle it anymore, guys. It's just bad. It's a curse. Ah, end. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe.